Hi, I'm Chelsea and I'm doing a makeup tutorial of how she does her makeup. I use, I'm not using my makeup, I'm using my friend's, Hi. Jack's. <laughs> so I'll be using number seven, Stay Perfect. Basically, put enough to cover your face. I'm going to use a blender. <laughs> right, so, sorry for anyone that's watching, she's never really done a video before for YouTube. No, never. Hence the nervousness. Yeah. Always make sure you get under your neck so you don't have slag lines. Make sure you always blend it in perfect. Because if not, then it will just look streaky. And people will make fun of you. And you don't want that. Especially if you're like 13, just starting with makeup. You do not want people starting on you because of your makeup. Yeah, because you get bullied in school for it and it's not very, very nice. I remembered when I got bullied in school for my makeup because I didn't do it right. Now, because I've practised, I've got it perfect. Hopefully. Well, I have. If you don't like the likeness of your foundation, you can obviously always get a darker foundation because I'm really light skinned mine and Jax's foundation what we've got I think it's like an ivory colour it's SPF 15 hypoallergenic you know what hypoallergenic means don't you? yes of course I do and the number seven is up to 24 hours wear, so it doesn't come off. Hopefully. It doesn't. Most people use primer underneath their foundation to keep it long lasting. I don't. I don't. I don't really need I'm going to do contour. Yeah, sometimes you do that. Hmm. If you're wondering, I've got like two sets of brushes. I've got my mermaid ones. And then her normal ones. ones. These don't really have a name to them. But I hate the other ones, so mermaid ones. Um. Right, okay, I'm going to use the bronzer. And I'm just going to do on the line of your cheek, so there, like that. Move my hair away. <laughs> if you can hear the music in the background, it's our silly boyfriend's upstairs. My silly boyfriend is her silly older brother. <laughs> Unfortunately. No, I love him. He's a little pain in the backside. Yeah, Don, I know it. <laughs> and then you do your forehead. So there. Just like... That. It doesn't look very nice, to be honest. But then you do your nose. I don't normally do my nose, but in this case you will. Yeah. Just do the lines down the side. I don't do anywhere else. I don't do the underneath. There's no point. And then blend it. <laughs> Mermaid blender. This is going to feel weird. Blend my nose in.
Okay. Yeah, it looks fine. Blend the cheeks in as much as you can, so it looks like you contoured and it doesn't just keep a line there. Like that. You just don't need to worry if you don't feel comfortable contouring, you don't have to do it. You just basically do your foundation, put your blusher on. I'll do another video just doing the basics, but I just wanted to do a contour one because I know how to contour. I've contoured for about a year and a half now. I have not. So that's why I'm used to contouring with my face. confuse myself okay don't worry guys we'll get her out of a comfort shell yet so far I'm very very nervous <laughs> right okay that's my contour done it's all right to admit when you're nervous I am nervous I've never done this before well I have but singing and no one's ever gonna see that so I've done my contour I'm going to do a standard highlight just there like that we haven't got any proper mirrors so I've got to use a little bit there just there and on your nose and just there and just up on your forehead and go down into your nose Sorry, it's just irritating me that it's not full and blended because it's not my usual makeup, is it? Yeah, I do. Even though that was hers. It was my but friend's. Belong to this one. But I've never used it because I never really liked it. But I haven't got my makeup. So I've got to deal with it. There we go. Blended. My. You want us to do my. Alright, if you're wondering what we're on about, she's not quite used to doing eyeshadow yet, so I'm going to help her with that. She's going to do my eyeshadow for me. Because I'm, like, really, I'm getting really good with eyeshadow, I'm, mixing, I'm like changing it up, mixing colours and stuff like that. So she's going to do my eyeshadow. Sorry if my hand just got in the hey. way. Hey. Right. Maybe what type of colours do you want to go? A light brown kind of thing. Sorry about my hair, it's a mess. It's alright, so is mine. So you want like a brownie colour? Yeah, like a light brown mixed with the light colour. Or whatever you think. I'm trying to think because you've got a slightly different colour eyes to me. So doing the, because I go gold, brown and like a light colour, which really brings out my eyes. Hmm. So I'm trying to think of what colours would break out your eyes. I don't want to go them. They're like too, too bright. Too bright. Mm. Too colourful. Yeah. You can do it whatever way you want. It depends on if you prefer the natural look or if you like to go out there. Yeah. Where I like mine simple, elegant, not too bright, not too colourful. Browns, blacks and whites. I'm one for the more natural, nudist look. Yeah. Close your eyes, please. If you wonder what colour I'm using, I'm just using a goldy brown with a little bit of sparkles in it. She'll show you after. Yeah. Which one she's used. Hmm, that would actually go quite nicely. Close your eyes. I will be blending it in fur as well, if you guys are wondering. Are 
And if you like what you see at the end of the result, you can just try and do what I've done. Unless you're not as confident as most people are. Hi, Chelsea. I'm not as confident as you. Right, I'll leave it with two, because I don't want to do like too many. Right, so I'm just going to blend it in for you. That's how it is now. So yeah, that's the two colours I've used. So I'm now just going to blend it in together. Turn this way, please. You're going to like that. I don't wear an eyeshadow. Usually I have concealer and a powder to go over my foundation to get rid of my bags. So if any of you are wondering which colours I just used, I used this colour here, that top one there, and then this nice light blue. It's like a bluey white, it's really, really, really nice. I am going to use a dark black for eyeliner. It's not really a make, it's just any kind of eyeliner. So I'm just going to pull my face down a bit and just literally go around my eye like that. If you're not too confident, guys, you don't have to do the eyeliner on the bottom. No, because you can poke yourself in the eye, what does hurt. Yeah. I've not done it in a very long time since I've started do makeup but I'm not a big fan of certain eyeliners I like my own eyeliner that I buy no thanks Jax it's fine I don't really use that one anyway you tell me she's used it I'm gonna put my eye no my sister I think I got that off my sister I think that's the eyeliner underneath where's the where's the wall Scars. Ooh. Oh, the rest of my mascaras are still in here. This is a volume New York City girl, as you can tell by the colour. That's my new one. It's not a. Oh, it's a big one. Well, it's a thin one that you go like that. And there's my other mascara. <laughs> I use more than one mascara because I like to make my eyes look pop out. So. In other words, she likes to make her uh, um, eyes to pop out without using fake eyelashes. Yeah. And this is the way round it. Do quite a few coats of one mascara and then do underneath as well. Just be careful when you do your underneath because you can get it stuck just like I did and it's not easy to get it unstuck because it sticks to your face I like my big big puffy mascaras because it helps So that was the volume mascara. This is. That one doesn't really have a name for it. This one doesn't have a name. Call it Goldie. Because it's all gold. And then just do the same again. Just like I did. And underneath again and then when you move on to your bed I go in for a bit more mascara every time so then you're not using it dry one eye is completely different with my face for some reason I do not like it 
And by different, I mean one smaller than the other, if you can tell. That's mine. Yeah, that's something you give me. This is one that I use. I use PS Lashes Effect from, uh, from Primark. It's cheap, but it is good. Not all expensive makeup is good. Cheap makeup is really good. I use cheap stuff. I don't use the number seven. I use stuff from Primark. The foundation is probably the most expensive thing I own at like 15 quid a bottle. That's just because it's hard to try and find the right foundation. Well, the one in Primark, so I'll show you which one I get. Yeah. Plus, well, the cheap makeup's actually quite good for people that are like, still in school and don't have a lot of like, pocket money and stuff. Not just that, it's the fact if you get the cheap makeup, the schools will hardly be able to tell. Or well, I have noticed, because if you don't, the schools with expensive makeup will tell straight away just by look at your face because of how they know you look so year seven if you want to do it do it from the first very day of school don't do it from halfway through because they will notice yeah it depends on how strict your school is about you wearing makeup every school's strict no no a lot Richard of schools Rose wasn't a lot of schools are now though especially catholic schools catholic schools will be but if you but, want to try and get away with it, a bit later on in the year, try and go for a more natural look. Because if you go natural, it's really hard to tell. Don't do what I've just done. That's not natural for high school. But this is what I mean by my eyes popping out because of the mascara. And now I'm just going to do lipstick. Plus. I quite like that one. Alright, I'm going to do a red and it's not got a make on it. It just shows you the colour of what it is really. Yeah. But the colour always looks different to what it is there, to what yeah. it is actually on. See, I'm not a red person. I don't like red that much. I like my naturals, like a light brown, pinkish. Mm. So, this is going to look a bit different for me. And if you don't feel comfortable with the lipstick you've got on, then take one of your little fingers, like that one I use, the middle, and just go around it like that. Because sometimes people don't get go outlined on properly. So I just go around like that. And that's my makeup. Thank you for watching!